now it should flash. And that means it's... Okay. So it should be recording now. Put the battery back. Okay, let me check the flaps. Okay. Check the... Uh, This may be my first uh, FPV flight with uh, FIX-3. Uh, I had learned that you're supposed to have a spotter when you're flying. You can't just fly with the goggles, uh, looking through the goggles uh, without having somebody watching the plane. And so I asked uh, Heather if she'd join me and she uh, very kindly agreed to, even though she has no, <laughs> really, no real interest in model airplanes, agreed to come with me to uh, to, uh, to watch the plane or to look in the goggles while I watch the plane. And uh, so anyway, this, uh, this old Nike base is um, close to our house. It's uh, uh, just uh, oh, it's within a mile, about a mile of our house uh, down the coast at White's Point. And uh, it has a nice pad where the, I guess the Nike missiles used to be based, which is, uh, serves as a nice runway for taking off. Um, and uh, so I thought this would be a good place to, to fly the plane. And so Heather joined me, and, uh, um, and now I'm taking it off. And I'm, um, I don't know whether I'm looking in the goggles or Heather is at this point, but, uh, but this is the uh, video from the Mobius camera mounted on the wing. Um, the, the goggles are looking at a, the other camera that's in the position of the, where the head of the pilot would be. And uh, um, so I'm just trying to get uh, become familiar with uh, flying FPV, uh, you know, with the camera. And uh, uh, there's usually a little bit of wind here. So um, now it, going in this direction, we're flying downwind, going down the coast. Uh, but when I turn around, I'll be flying into the wind. And uh, I I don't have uh, I don't know if I'm using the autopilot here or not. Uh, on any of this, on, on any of this flight, but uh, uh, if the plane does sort of a, an oscillation back and forth, that's often a symptom of it uh, uh, of it flying on autopilot, uh, going upwind. Like now, here it seems like it's it's sort of swinging back and forth a bit. Although now it, it seems like I am controlling it. Um, also, I think the hand is hooked up to servo, so it should move. Um, as I move the stick when it's not on autopilot or if I'm doing manual input. But the autopilot input uh, doesn't show up on the motion of the hand of the, uh, of the simulated pilot. So um, anyway, uh, you can see there's a, there's a hill. Above that is the Air Force housing uh, for Fort, Macar Fort MacArthur. Um, uh, after I flew here a couple of times, I saw that there was a sign that said no flying model airplanes. I didn't realize that. And, uh, uh, but also to the left of where we are flying here, when the plane, plane flies over that way, is where that where a huge landslide was, where the, the coast road, Paseo del Mar, um, uh, 
uh, a, bit, a huge segment uh, slid toward the ocean and uh, it uh, um, changed the road. So we, that was the way we used to go up to the market and we can't go that way any longer. Um, we're, it's not clear whether they're going to uh, connect the road again or not. It's, uh, clearly it's going to be a huge expense if they do. Uh, but here you can see the Nike base, that white pad uh, that we just passed over. Uh, this area has been um, turned into a park where there are trails, that, uh, and, uh, but not many people use it. It's, uh, although uh, Heather and her friend Lori uh, go walking here often. I think Lori likes to walk here. Um, and uh, so um, anyway, I'm... You can it just down to the bottom. You can just barely uh, see me and Heather on the at the Nike base. You can't right now, but it's just a second ago you could. Uh, I'll try to point it point us out when you can see us again. Um, and uh, I'm coming around again toward the now we should be straight ahead of the plane. There you, 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 you right in the middle of the screen is where Heather and I are, um, where I'm flying the plane. And let me see, I think, I don't know, I can't tell whether Heather has the goggles on or not. Um, anyway, that's this flight. Okay. Double cut. Okay, you want to, the camera's still on, you want to say hi? No. No. <laughs> You want to show them what you look like with the box on your face? The box. Okay. <laughs> okay. And that's enough. Okay. <coughs> yeah, switch this off. Yeah. So it should be recording now. Yeah, I flew between the power lines coming back that one time over here. Yeah, uh, we were watching it. Did you see it go between the power yeah. lines? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I didn't realize it was that low, and then suddenly I, I was going to try to pull over, and then I saw it right in front of me, and then I dove down to yeah, go between. Yeah, you're coming from the landing. Yeah, well, this would, I wouldn't be coming this way in a landing because it's downwind. So this is the uh, uh, second flight. Uh, I assume I changed the battery. Um, and I think that I, I, I reviewed the video from the last flight and, and I think that Heather was watching the flight through the goggles. I wasn't flying with the goggles myself. Um, in this flight, I, she may be wearing the goggles again, I don't remember. Um, but when I looked at the, the landing of this flight, it looked like uh, she was wearing them. So, um, yeah, in any event, I'm just flying it like a model airplane, a uh, radio control model airplane. Um, and, uh, but uh, we are, I am recording the, the video from, um, with the FTP camera, although I think that uh, when I, uh, in converting the files, uh, because file names got confused, they ended up getting lost. So uh, unfortunately, I don't have the, the file that has all the flight information on it. It's the uh, uh, GPS that, uh, um, that that's on board. Um, anyway, uh, just flying around the Nike base again. Um, again, the uh, uh, let's see if it flies toward the uh, 
toward toward the landslide. I'll point that out again. Um, there were some power lines down there, and uh, yeah, I think it was actually a, an earlier flight when I was flying, and, and uh, Heather and and Lori, her girlfriend that she walks with, there there you can see the landslide to the right. There's actually a, a an island. That, uh, with a palm tree on it. I mean, the, the whole road, complete with palm tree, uh, slid out toward the ocean, making this uh, this sort of mesa uh, that uh, um, that has a palm tree on it. Um, and I don't know if they if they repair it. I think they'd have to build a bridge over that uh, where the road used to be, because uh, I don't think they're going to cut into the park to um, to continue the road around. Um, so, um, uh, here I'm just, uh, I think there's a reasonable wind, uh, we're I'm flying into the wind going in this direction, um, and, uh, um, and again, I, I think, did I mention that, uh, that you see the power lines right in front of me, the, the previous time when I flew, apparently when I was coming back in the other direction, I fl flew right between the power lines, and I was lucky that I didn't hit them. Um, and uh, then there was also a point where I came very close to a palm tree, one of the palm trees out down here to the right, you can see uh, the aerobatics here, I guess. Um, and, uh, um, let's see, what else can I say? Uh, Western Avenue, oh, the place that, uh, um, that uh, I, had my angina attack just before I had my heart surgery. It was actually down very close to where we are, where the plane is right now. I was riding my bike to get some exercise before meeting Heather to, to get married. And I, it was right right about here that uh, I had to get off my bike and lie on the ground and cover my breath uh, because I was having a, uh, an, an, an angina attack. It was a strong a symptom of, of the serious heart disease that I had. So anyway, there you can see the path that they've made that you can walk around the area where the landslide was. Um, and uh, um, let's see, where are we in the flight now? I guess we're, yeah, we're coming close to landing. This is, this is a landing approach. And, uh, and here you might be, I don't know if you can see whether Heather, I think she has the goggles on, but it's kind of hard to see because the plane sort of turns to the right just at the, as, as it lands, so you can't see her very well. So anyway, that's the end of the flight.